Welcome to the Gear Vlogs Automotive Podcast, the ultimate destination for all things automotive. My name is Mario Gear, and in today's podcast episode, we've got some hot topics revving up in the automotive world. Buckle up as we drive into the latest headlines. Jeep has issued a recall for over 338,000 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokees. Discover the details behind this massive recall and what it means for Jeep owners. General Motors is in the spotlight with a recall affecting 56,000 pickups in the U.S. Uncover the reasons behind this recall and the impact it might have. McLaren's latest hypercar, inspired by their iconic F1, is set to turn heads with gullwing doors. Tune in to get a sneak peek into the future of hypercar innovation. The World Rally Championship is making waves by abandoning hybrid-powered Rally 1 cars. Delve into the reasons behind this decision and what it means for the future of auto racing, or rally racing. Get ready for an adrenaline-packed ride through the latest automotive buzz. This is the Gear Vlogs Automotive Podcast. I'm Mario Gear, signing in to keep you in the fast track of automotive news. In a recent development, over 330,000 Jeep Grand Cherokees from 2021 through 2023 model years are under recall due to a steering issue. The concern re revolves around potential failures in the steering components that could lead to loss of control. Chrysler has taken this action to address the safety risk associated with the reported problem. Owners of affected vehicles are advised to stay informed about the recall process and take the necessary steps for inspection and repair. The recall highlights the automotive industry's commitment to prioritizing safety and addressing potential hazards promptly. Next up, we have General Motors has issued a recall for the 2023 Chevrolet Colorado and GMC Cyclone or Canyon pickups. The recall affects 55,755 vehicles is prompted by a flaw in the Automatic Emergency Braking, or AEB, system. This defect poses a potential safety risk, leading to unexpected activations of the emergency braking feature. GM's decision to address the issue underscores their commitment to ensuring vehicle safety. Owners of the affected models are advised to stay informed about the recall process and to take necessary actions for remedy. Remedi remediation for our third story. McLaren is set to introduce the P18 Halo PHEV, a next-gen plug-in hybrid hypercar that will deviate from the brand's iconic dehydral doors in favor of going doors. With over 1,000 horsepower, this hypercar aims to succeed McLaren's previous P1 model. The decision to incorporate going doors showcases McLaren's commitment to innovation and departure from traditional design elements. This shift is poised to offer a unique and futuristic aesthetic while maintaining the high performance standards expected from brand from the brand. The P18 Halo PHEV marks McLaren's bold step into the future of hypercar technology. In our fourth story, World Rally Championships, or WRC, the decision has been made to abandon hybrid-powered Rally 1 cars starting from 2025. This shift marks a departure from the current trend of integrating hybrid technology into rally cars. The move is likely driven by the desire for simplicity and cost-effectiveness in the championship. Rally enthusiasts and teams will witness a return to conventional rally car technology, signaling a strategic shift in the WRC's approach to its technical regula regulation. So there we have it. So there you have it. Um, comment down below. Would you like or care to say about any of these uh, specific stories of... Um, what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And let's hear what you thought. Um, since this is the season four of the podcast, I wanted to uh, run this by you. I'm addressing that um, I'm thinking of doing a podcast schedule of possibly 
three podcasts a week. So basically like a schedule of maybe possibly Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, or I could go two days a week and go Tuesdays and Thursdays. I want to hear your guys' thoughts since you are here taking the time to listen to my podcast and you made it this far. I want to say thank you. Appreciate you being a follower and listener. Now the question of the day is moving forward and where do you want to see this podcast go? In the process of trying to book several industry-leading guests in the automotive field um, to be on the show. So stay tuned for that and hopefully I'll have some guests. And if you have any comments or recommendations for potential future guests, or if you're an industry individual in the industry and you would like to come on to this podcast and uh, talk about your brand, your services, your expertise, I'm open. So be sure to uh, hit that like, follow, and uh, comment uh, down below. It helps in the algorithms and uh in the rankings for this podcast. So thanks.